Nelson. I'm currently the director of the GSBI, and over the past nine years, this is our 10th year, I've been involved with the GSBI, GSBI since its start in a variety of roles from staff member to mentor to lecturer. Okay. What we've learned from the GSBI nine, now going on 10 years in residence program, is that there, throughout the world there are many, many entrepreneurs who have great passion for what they do and have developed ideas and, and why it's right to do GSBI online now is that we think we're able to translate what we've learned over the past 10 years into a series of nine lessons that capture what it's taken us 10 years or nine years to put together. So that's why we're doing it now. So instead of reaching, we reached 100 and some entrepreneurs over 10 years, that's, you know, that's 14 or 15 a year. And we need to reach hundreds a year because there are in the world maybe two or three hundred thousand social entrepreneurs in various of various kinds. Well, how are we going to reach them? The only the only possible answer is online. Well, my name is Arvind. I manage the development marketplace program of the World Bank, which is housed in the World Bank Institute. The question we've asked ourselves is. Typically, a face-to-face -face program reaches out uh, only to a few. It costs a lot. And in today's world, where technology is so powerful a tool, where sort of barriers are broken down, how come we can't take a program which is face-to-face, -face, convert it to online, and make it available to millions at a lower cost? Yeah. So, so the basic theme, which is consistent with our sort of motto is, for the many, at the lowest possible price. Sure. Andy Lieberman and I'm the GSBI Online Program Manager. So what we did when we thought about designing GSBI Online was we took a really deep look at our current GSBI program that's been honed over 10 years to be something that really works. And we thought about how we can recreate it for an all online version. And so the way it's, it's coming together is there's a curriculum that's nine modules, so we took the most essential parts of the program, created those modules with templates to get the content in place, um, but then to, to put it together and work the entrepreneur through it, we're keeping the same type of um, process where the entrepreneur would typically do their first iteration, their first pass, and then get feedback from the mentor, because that's the way our whole GSBI program is built. It's not about just it's not theoretical, it's practical, it's learning by doing, it's getting feedback from the mentor. My name is Cassandra Mason. I'm the program manager for the Global Social Benefit Incubator here at the Center for Science, Technology, and Society at Santa Clara University. I think that kind of having a combined mentoring team that can provide um, the GSBI methodology and Silicon Valley know-how combined with the local mentoring and, and kind of the ongoing support that a local mentor would be able to provide is a really unique um, strength that the online program is going to be able to afford. And at the end of GSBI Online, the products will be essentially the same as what, what they have at, in our current GSBI program. They'll have an elevator pitch, which will be a, a YouTube like video that uploaded. They'll have the um, business plan summary presentation and PowerPoint that they can present to investors, and they'll have a two-page um, investment profile. The GSBI Online is intended to take what we've learned from GSBI in residence and give it a much wider reach. Now, if you're an entrepreneur that doesn't know anything about business, you don't have an MBA, you're, you're like 90% of the people who will come here. So, so only a few of the people come here know anything about business at all. But in terms of an MBA kind of definition. But they all know something about their business. Right. And what we teach them is a few basic techniques to teach what they know about their business and to run it in a financially sustainable manner. GSBI Online is gonna provide an opportunity for us to help more people, for all the people who can't get visas to come here to Santa Clara University. Um, for all the organizations that just don't have the resources to pay for airfare from wherever they are in the world all the way here to California, even though we're covering all the expenses for the two week in residence. And it's also going to help us help the entrepreneurs that just aren't ready for the in residence program. So, this is really um, an initiative that's going to be able to address almost every social entrepreneur that just needs management training. 
If I were to think about it, I think the mission statement is this tool will help me do better, faster, cheaper than what I'm doing right now. And the exciting part is social entrepreneurs are most passionate, they're most ethical, and they contribute to what fundamental well-being of societies. So